Hey, what's up guys? Kinegas here and welcome to my part 3 of my Let's Play Mass Effect 3. Alright, so just got um, Ashley here, um, badly wounded. I'm gonna go, I don't care too much about Ashley, I'm actually gonna break up with her in the hospital. I don't really care about her as much because her romance story is pretty boring. Uh, I think Liara is a lot better. But um, I also want Miranda to live as well. So, but, ah, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, let's go. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Uh, the yeah, let me just go visit her real quick and, you know, just kind of say hello. <laughs> hmm. The Citadel looks a lot different from from part two and even part one. I guess it's just uh, different different segments. Anyways, let's. I, I know I'm gonna see a lot of um a lot of the people from Mass Effect Two here. Okay, I'm not gonna do it with a Vina. Oh, Chakwal. Shepard, there you are. Doctor Chakwal, you're here. I'm working at an Alliance R and D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Mm. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. I think I like her better on the Normandy. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <laughs> All right, well, got her on board. Um... Guess nothing else to do in this little section. Let me just go visit Ashley. Alright. Medical equipment. I know there's like little missions I can do just by overhearing conversations and stuff. I can pick up little side quests. So I always keep a I always keep a lookout that she is. Ash. Hey. It's Shepard. I should have known you'd pull through. You're stubborn. Always were. It scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Yeah, I'm gonna break up with her. I can't. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. It looks like her hand is inside of her, of her stomach. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Like she's digging into herself or something. Anyways, yeah, cause um, I want I want I want Miranda to live. Hi, doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of anything. All right, let me see over the section. So yeah, because um, if I'm with anyone else and not Miranda, she's gonna die in her last mission, and I don't want any of my any of my uh, teammates to die. If if I can help it, then then they don't need to die. 
So, the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe. Alright, let me just... Yeah, I guess I'll go to the... To the embassies now. I kind of hate not being on a mission. You know, doing some action. I gotta do all this in-between stuff. Ugh, it's so... Ugh, God. It's just boring to me. <laughs> but, um... Alright. So, I'm gonna be doing the DLCs a bit later, okay? So, once I get through a considerable percentage of the game, once I get a considerable percentage of the game complete, then I'll start doing the DLCs, but not right now. Alright, let me just keep moving forward. Alright, let me just keep going. I think is right here, Commander Bailey. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> That's funny. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Eh, what? Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. <laughs> don't lose your edge. You might need it. Oh, wouldn't mind an excuse to get my fingers dirty. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seems like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Mm thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talk. Well, that was a pretty interesting conversation. You see that guy. The only interesting thing is that he he has a family. Commander, 
Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't like getting stuck in those long dialogues. Oh God. Councillor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any council homeworld. But Earth was the first council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tetris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True. But in the end, we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? Well, I believe in trying. Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. <laughs> I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Wow. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot in the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander, I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Palavin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected, you want me to rescue his ass in the hopes he considers helping Earth? Put bluntly, yes. I shouldn't even be telling you about it. But we need Fedorian alive, and your ship can get him. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. Well, I'm ready for that. <clears throat> ready for some action. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, 
That went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Alright, well. Let me get out of here then. Alright, time to get the heck out of here. Don't have time to waste. Gotta go to Palavin's Moon. I think it's called Manea. Something like that. Reaper capabilities. Citadel space. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. What do you want, lady? Commander Shepard. Kalisa been seen in Algelani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best way? Talk to my shit. Enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you military. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time, you military. <laughs> You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Actually, yes, I did. It felt good. It felt good. <clears throat> Alright, I'm out of here now. Ravage Earth, let all these humans die. Girl, shut up, please. You know, people like that don't even understand what Commander Shepard is doing or the burden that's on him. They don't, hell, they don't even appreciate what he did in part two. Survive the suicide mission for the sake of saving, you know, everybody. Damn, such ungratefulness, man. <laughs> oh, gotta get this other chick on board, too, this girl. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room. And this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Mm. All right. Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. Hmm. Damn, she's she's pretty sexy. Yeah, I gotta admit, right? For a game-looking character. <laughs> Return to the Normandy. Hey, is there anything else to do here? Let me kind of look. Well, that's pretty much it. Just this. Let me return to the Normandy. All right, it's time for some action. I got about 20 minutes. God, I almost spent 20 minutes just doing all this stuff. You see, I hate doing this because I just like to just go ahead and fight. But, you know, I guess it wouldn't be the full experience if I just fight. Oh, there he goes with his dream. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, that's what it was that this dream was an indoctrination attempt of the reapers this this boy here i'm not sure if you guys seen the indoctrination video before but but yeah this whole dream this whole thing is just an indoctrination attempt to to sabotage Shepard's hope. Or to take his will to fight away. Where is he now? There you are, kid.
Is there a weapon I can find here? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> an indoctrination attempt anyways but that was all a theory anyways but has a lot of truth to it Liara can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian counselor information on the Prothean device it can't be built without council support but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe I know are you alright? Hmm. I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can. And you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Hmm. Report, officer. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, <laughs> shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Wow, this whole video might just be me and the ship and all these cutscenes. My god. And just not doing anything. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. 
This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Hmm. All right. Time to get out of here. All right. Let me go. I need to go uh, fix up my equipment real quick. So let me get my ass out of here. Lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Well, I guess I, I, I would, but first let me go to the shuttle bay. Let me talk to this crew and also the other guy and just get familiar with the crew, you know, just so I can have the full the full experience, you know what I mean? I don't wanna just rush through the game and not do much. So but first let me see if I can uh, upgrade my weapon. Let me modify this thing. Of course, uh, that, that's always a good thing. And increases damage by 5%, speed percent. Well, this is all I've got at the moment, so. That's all I've got at the moment, so I guess I'll, I'll have to use that. Um, weapon upgrade. How much money do I have? 35,000? Alright. Let me, um, the Indra, okay, yep, I'm gonna definitely upgrade the Indra, definitely, 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 definitely guys, not even 15, 15k for that, alright, let me see what the Indra has now, hmm, the Indra 4, Alright, let's see what's uh, let's see the armory real quick. Yeah, I like this set better. This is the one I I I I, I really liked it. Alright, let's uh Whatever, I guess. There's not much for me to get here. Mm, shield regeneration, why not? Shoulders. Alright, I'm not seeing any kind of change. Oh, the change is like really, really small. Alright, whatever, it's something, I guess. Pattern color. Um, hmm. Red, blue. Let me see something pattern. Military. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Let me just switch back to that. Eh, white and black is good. I'll just leave it at that. Let me get to know this dude. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. What's the situation? Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega? Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? 
Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. To save the day, pendejo. <laughs> I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. How long have you been with the Alliance? About ten years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So, you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> it was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plating. The lab engineers are trying to improve that. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably just a pile of rubble. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually undetected. She flies like a brick, so that's why you need a good pilot. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> the first retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. Mm, all right, one more. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband back when I was stationed at Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Keep up the good work. Yes, Commander. Well, as long as he doesn't try to get on me, I'm fine. <laughs> But anyways, I also want him to live, so I think I have to do some quest for him or something like that. I don't remember too well, but I know he dies if I don't do anything for him, so this time I'm going to save him. Let me talk to this guy here. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? <clears throat> yeah. We're gonna rescue a Turian Primarch from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. <clears throat> you down here for a reason? <clears throat> hmm. Just came down to talk. <clears throat> Great. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? <laughs> I think I can handle it. Okay, loco. Let's dance. Don't push your luck, Vega. With age comes wisdom. And rank. Ha! You sound like my old CO. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> and who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. <clears throat> was? Died with most of my squad, protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. 
And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? I do. You're a shrink, too? Nope. But that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe... <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war! <clears throat> maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey, thanks for the dance, loco. <laughs> All right, it's Commander, dude. No nicknames, Lieutenant. Okay? Your ship, your rules. Your laws. Commander. <laughs> Commander. Anyways. Oh. You know, I, I never actually explored this part of the ship ever. Just now, this is my very first time. Uh, maybe I should have been cool with the guy. Maybe I shouldn't have been so stiff. But whatever. Anyways, um, what we got here? All right, I just need like two k, two more k, or something like that to uh, upgrade. Anyways, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go to the engineering deck and see what's up with these guys. I don't know, I'm just kind of exploring the ship in this one. And uh, after I explore the ship, then I'm done, basically. Alright, see what these people's got. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the drive core retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You're Alliance first. That's the way it should be. Thank you, Commander. Glad to be aboard. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's control. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up. It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means... We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. 
What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an AI. AI? I thought Edie posed as a BI to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus AI, Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her. And in time, I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. All right, that's it. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. All right, time to... All right, let me check what's down here. I think there's a sovereign ship down here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure there's a sovereign ship. I think... Yep, there is. I, re I remember. The sovereign ship. Alright. Oh, Turan Cruiser. Nice. <laughs> Alright, well, this episode has just been exploring uh, the Citadel and the ship, so... Wait a minute. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. Let me go into the... The crew deck, which is the last part. Then I'm gonna go to the middle and deal with the mission in the next episode so let me talk to the crew real quick and then I'll just put it into this video hmm. here are guys that died eh, I don't care much Alright, let's go here first and see what we got. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. All right, well... Reassign power bonuses. Reassign powers. Um, reassign Shepard's power. Let me. Yeah. Eh. All right. Let's do this again. Let's see. Um. Incinerate. Let me spec it exactly how I want it to be. Mm, radius, damage, radius. I'll go with radius. And, of course, burning damage. 
and armor damage. Overload. Definitely go for overload. Let me just do three for right now. Um, no sabotage, no sentry turret, tech master, fitness. Let me go with some armor piercing. I'm gonna definitely need that for the armor target. So I'm gonna, yeah, damage. So squad mates gain your ammo for 50% effectiveness. Increase health and armor damage by 6%. Hmm. Squad mates gain your ammo power at 50% effectiveness. I think that's good. I'll leave it at that. Of course, gotta get that fitness up there. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna also need the combat drone for right now. Let me just spec it at, at four. And of course, tech mastery. And the overload, let's see, chain overload, yep. Okay, I got two more. Mm, I think that is it for right now. Yeah, that's it for right now. No more. Don't need it really. So, that's okay. Let me talk to anyone else here. This is Liara's uh, part. Come on, open. Commander Shepard. Huh. What are you? I'm Glyph, a VI assistant to Dr. Tassoni. I help her sort and catalog collected data. She's asked me to draw your attention to a terminal connected to her information network. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. You know, I was hoping this new council would be a little... All right. Liara? What is all this stuff? After you left for Earth, I had the chance to track down the information trader who'd kidnapped my friend. It wasn't easy, but I found the Shadow Broker and took over his information network. You're running that from the Normandy? What I can. Not all of the old Broker's networks remained intact, but I have agents. So you took over as the galaxy's most famous information trader? Notorious might be a better term. At least it means I can help research this Prothean device. It's far too dangerous to use until we understand it. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. What is she doing the damage with her it hands? Could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. Well, that is it, guys. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna end this video right here. I spoke to everyone in a crew deck except for Joker. I don't really care to talk to him right now, but guys, um, that is it really for this episode. Uh, the next episode would be just pure action and on Paladin's Moon and all that stuff. Anyways, guys, hope you guys are enjoying this series, and Kanegas out.